Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we're here at Disney's Magic Kingdom to check out all the latest Disney merch. Let's go. Let us begin at Uptown Jewelers, right here on Main Street. You see, Main Street. That's Cinderella Castle, right there. Love Main Street. Okay, hello. We got new lug bags with new characters? Well, over the weekend, I sent Mr. Emmo on an emergency mission to get me this Tigger lug bag at Disney Springs. Right, Mr. Emmo? And yes, he completed his mission. So yes, this is one of the new lug bags and it is Tigger. So we've seen the Winnie the Pooh one. I'll show you, they still have it here. And now we have Tigger to start the collection. I'm hoping they do all the characters. Wouldn't that be nice? Piglet maybe. Piglet, Eeyore, Owl, can you imagine? But anyways. Rabbit. Rabbit. So Tigger, very cute. It is like a... Uh, applique. An applique patch. We have Tigger's beautiful orange color, his stripes. We have his tail embroidered in the back. It is $65. And when you open it on the inside, we have a little print that features Winnie the Pooh and friends. So you see Eeyore there. That is so adorable. This is the new Minnie Mouse one. It is the color black and we have the patch applique there, nicely embroidered. She's featured with a red polka dot bow and some black and white polka dots here at the background. When you turn it around, Minnie, XO, XO. Let's see the inside. This is the Skeeter Mini bag and that is the design there. You can see Minnie Mouse inside the polka dots. All of these are $65. This one seems to be the most popular one. Mr. ML said that at Disney Springs, which he got it at the Marketplace co-op. This was running fast and it's running fast here as well. But um, hopefully they restock. They have a good stock. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully they have a good stock. So we have the three hitchhiking ghosts. We have an applique patch there. Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion crest. We have the stripes there of the host ghosts. And when you turn it around, the gargoyle. the gargoyle. Thank you, Mr. Emma. The gargoyle from the stretch room. I was not expecting this design on the inside. It is so cool. Okay, the hitchhiking ghosts are in there, it seems like. Let me turn it around here so you can see more. Oh, yep, more of the hitchhiking ghosts. So you've seen this one, the Winnie the Pooh one. I have this one yeah, too. Yes, this is the Winnie the Pooh one with this little red shirt. It says Winnie the Pooh. And on the inside, it has a little design with honey pots and bees. And the orange bird, one of Epcot's mascots, especially oh, this, for the festivals. Huh? This one says Magic Kingdom. Yes, this one says Ma Oh, wait, maybe they're celebrating the Dole Whip? Maybe. I think they're celebrating the Dole Whip, right? Where the Dole Whip started here in Walt Disney World, which is here at Magic Kingdom. And uh, yeah, it has Dole Whip's face, Dole Whip's. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Orange birds. Oh my gosh, orange birds' face there. And uh, when you open it up, the design is nice and green with orange bird. Very cute. And we finally found the It's a Small World lug bags. Not sure if you can hear it, but the Dapper Dans are singing right now because we're on Main Street, of course. This is $90. The backpack, It's a Small World embroidered on there. And we got an It's a Small World design there. This and is Disney Park exclusive. It's a Disney Parks exclusive. All of these are Disney Parks exclusives. Um, you'll only find them at Disney World, Disney Springs, things like that. So there we have the dolls from It's a small world a so cute you. yeah you know this is what i love about lug bags is the amount of storage you can put even for the small ones yeah. even for the small ones you can keep your bag nice and organized and it's nylon material which you can clean this bag is 90 dollars, and the inside is nice and pink a water bottle holder this is very essential here at the parks you need hydration especially in the florida sun it's a small world the same design and the water bottle holder here is 50 dollars. it does have the strap on the inside it's oh it's insulated yes. do you see that like a lunch box oh that's pretty cool guys okay yes there's the strap you see that 
It's called the Huggy SE. And you can use it like a little crossbody. And we have spotted the Dunian Burke tote bag. So in one of our last Disney Springs videos, we saw the little crossbody and the wallet. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But we found the tote bag, Minnie and Mickey Mouse dress as elves. That is their costume this year. Even Cinderella Castle is dressed up. Isn't that cute? We got little happy snowmans. And this little snowman here is wearing a Mickey hat. Yes, a Mickey hat. We got the little Chris or little pine trees and when you turn it around let's see okay it's the same design same design and this one here is 268 dollars here's a little size reference at uptown jewelers is the place or is where you will find jewelry especially disney jewelry it's uptown jewelry. yeah it's uptown jewelers so look what they got Disney Parks collection bubble bar and it is a Minnie Mouse Christmas wreath I love how detailed this is and it's nice and sparkly with all those rhinestones okay I gotta look at the price really quick I it is $50 so this is $50 this is the signature bubble bar look. You know what I mean? Look at this figure of Mickey Mouse dressed as Santa Claus. It is $60 and he's holding Christmas lights with the electric plug and everything. How cute is this? Nice and sparkly, glittery. These are my favorite ones because I do like these like kind of studded ones or little hoop earrings. That's my style. But this here is Mickey Mouse with the little Santa belt, right? Santa Bell and the hat as well, $35. And this set here for $60, we got Mickey Mouse with candy cane stripes. And on the bottom side, we got a bow and a hanging little Mickey icon with several colors. Looks like an ornament to me. For $45, so we have this Her Universe top. So they have a little Her Universe collection going on featuring Mickey Mouse. And look how cute is Mickey there. Okay, so this looks like all patchy, if you know what I mean. Nice and blocked and patched. $45 for $60. We got the knitted cardigan there. You probably hear the Dapper Dance in the background. Okay, Mickey Mouse here. How cute. We got Mickey's little glove there giving us the peace sign. We got a checkered design. Let's see the back side. Did I mention how much this was? $60, this is a checkered design. And for $70, these fabulous Mickey Mouse overalls. Very cute, nice and creamy. I mean, the color, the color's cream, cream color. I'm a big denim jacket girl. I love denim jackets. I feel like you can take them anywhere. And if it's cold, just wear a long sleeve under. But anyway, $80. This one has this cream color on one side, the black color on the other. Embroidered is Mickey Mouse and his name right over here with the font and everything. And when you turn it around, that nice division there reminds me also of Cruella de Vil. For this lounge fly has been here for a while, like probably two to three years or something like that. I might be wrong, but definitely not new, but it does match with the collection. The lounge fly is $78. Mr. ML is here with us today. Welcome back, guys. And we are back here at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Finally. Yes, I love Magic Kingdom. As you can see, we've already found more than a few things. We're gonna go visit the Emporium right here next to us. And did you have anything to say, Mr. Emil? Yes, today I'm using wearing oh my, my goodness. Real Madrid jersey. He's, he's supporting Real Madrid today. And this one is from the last Brazilian player who oh. won the Ballon d'Or. Uh, oh, okay, show them, show them the... It's Kaka for all you Brazilian fans, for all our Brazilian subscribers, right? So anyway, I was going to say something Back else. Back to Disney. Back to Disney. Back to Disney. So some of the items showed in this video are available to shop online, guys. So if anything is shoppable online, I'll link them down below in the description box for you. The Festival of Fantasy Parade, and there goes my favorite Ariel. There goes Peter Pan. And Tinkerbell. How cute is Tinkerbell? 
uh, the Maleficent Dragon. I think the fire is coming out now. We'll see. There it goes. And again. Okay, that was warm. The stars of the show, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Aw, hi Minnie. Hey, Mickey. How cute. All right, here it is, the Emporium. They've got more than a few new mugs. Since you probably already heard Dapper Dan's in the background, let's start with the Dapper Dan's mug, okay? Here's the Dapper Dan's mug. It is nice and tall, has a dapper outfit on there, even the dapper hat. I love it. And a little cast member name tag that says Dan. Isn't that awesome? This is so on brand. $28, by the way. Mr. ML, you you love this one. Oh yeah. He went straight for this one when we first saw it. Oh my goodness. You need it in your life? Yeah. Anyway, Fantasia, and there is a Mickey Mouse right there doing his magic. And then uh scenes from the movie. Yeah, from the movie. Scenes from the movie. We got Peter Pegasus, right? It was Peter Pegasus, right? Am I yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it right? Anyway, the broomstick. There we have Mickey Mouse. And, and the not Thunderbolt. I don't know why Mr. ML calls him Thunderbolt when it's the Chernobog. Anyway, so this is $28. It's for, oh, oh Fantasia's 85th anniversary. That's why. Yeah, look, my, my favorite part is a little spoon. Oh, wait, I can. I can sort of help, help me, Mr. Ammo. I don't want to break this. It's like a little spoon. Little magical broomstick is a little spoon. Isn't this magical? I love it. Mr. ML, can you picture yourself drinking your morning coffee? Mr. ML needs to start his day with his morning coffee. Model the mug for me. Model it. You'd know, drink it. <laughs> like if you're drinking coffee. Like if you're drinking coffee. There you go. Without the, the price tag. Mary Poppins! I love the shape of this mug. It's is fancy. Very fancy, yes. I feel it looks very fancy pants. Anyway, it says, oh, I cannot say this. <laughs> Super califragilistic expialidocious. Did I say that right? Okay, try saying that really fast. But anyway, Mary Poppins there. I love the design. And then it says here, practically perfect in every way. And the bottom side, $28 is for Mary Poppins 60th anniversary. We got anniversary mugs. You're gonna see the last one I'm gonna show you guys. It will be the last mug. You're, you will love it. You will love it. And then look, a little spoon filled of sugar. What is it? A spoon fill of sugar lets the medicine go down. Right. A very cute couple. We got Wally, and, and on the Eve. other side, Eve. And then look at the inside. Wally plus Eve and a little heart. How adorable is that? And this is at $20. Bonjour. 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 Anyway, we probably mispronounced that, but here is Marie, very cute. I love the way they did her face, very adorable. And there she is modeling her little precious pink bows, $25. It has the lid and then the ceramic mug in the bottom. There is her large bow. Oh, what is the price of this one? Hold on, let me get another one. Oh, it was right next door. Okay, it's $25. DASA, Disney Aeronautics and Space Administration. This is for Space Mountain. It says Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Space Mountain, inaugural flight commander. This is really cool. This is for Space Mountain. If yeah. you didn't know, it is at $20. I believe these are the, the years, 75 and 77. 75 and 77? The years. Yeah? Maybe. It might be. Yeah, it might be. And finally, my favorite mug of all. Who do you think that is? It's Ariel. It's Ariel, and it's for The Little Mermaid's 35th anniversary. Because, yes, in November, it November is Ariel's. 16, I believe. 
Yes, 35th anniversary. There is flounder. It looks like like a conch shell kind of a thing. It's nice and pearlescent and white. Where's Sebastian? Oh, right there, right next to flounder. I didn't see him. And then this is a little dingle hopper as the spoon. Okay, it is $20 and there's a little seal, the Mer Little Mermaid 35th anniversary. All right, headed out from Main Street, going into Fantasyland. And I'm expecting to see something new. Something new here at Fantasyland. You'll see, you'll, you'll see. see. Mr. ML saw somebody walking around with an Aurora cone here from Storybook Treats, which is located right next to the 100 Acre Goods store. You could get your ice cream here and I'll show you which one we're gonna get. So here it is. So you can get a Rapunzel Sunday at the moment. I know there are many changes and they got the Aurora cone. Hmm. So it's a dough whipped strawberry and blue soft serve topped with white chocolate crispy pearls and a sugar cone. Cause you know, make it blue, make, make it, it pink. pink. But yeah, they always change by the way. So next time you come here, they might have something else. Guys, here it is. And uh, the description says uh, strawberry and blue. Not sure what blue means. We'll figure it out. So let's go for it. Okay, I think definitely the strawberry is a good compliment. And I think the blue is just vanilla. I would say cotton candy, but it's, n I don't think it's as sweet as cotton candy. But with the strawberry, it feels like you're having a cotton candy ice cream. Do you agree with me, Mr. Emil? Yeah, it looks right? like vanilla, yeah. But it's vanilla and strawberry, but with that, with that strawberry, it feels like you're eating cotton candy ice cream. It's pretty good. It's good. One like to 10, it. Mr. Emil. Nine. A nine. Hmm. Made it inside the 100 Acre Goods, and yes, they have the Tigger and Winnie the Pooh lug bag, which would make much sense, but look at this. Not only is it a giant Winnie the Pooh plush holding a pot of honey, it's a backpack too. This is a giant plush backpack. Like I haven't seen a giant plush backpack at the parks like this before, at least me personally. How adorable this poo look. Look at the honey pot with the font. I love the Winnie the, the Pooh font. And this, well, the spelling is, oh no, it's, oh. it's incorrect. Obviously. No, it's not. Obviously. It was Winnie the Pooh affecting me. It's yeah, affecting it's my affecting spelling. You, yes. yes. It's H-O-N. E Y. Yeah, okay, Winnie Pooh is definitely affecting my spelling. It's okay. Anyway, so the back side is the zipper where you will store all of your items. I mean, it's not, wow, it's not a whole lot. Like, that's how, as deep as my it's hand will go. Your phone, go. And your, hand your, phone your hand sanitizer, your keys, your that's credit it. card, or your debit card. ID. $70, okay. And it's pretty much a huge plush you wear on your back. Let's try it out. Okay, try it on for you guys. This is how big it is. This is how cute it is. I mean, take a look at this. And they brought back these mugs to the 100 Acre Goods store. Look, it's the Eeyore mug with a little rainbow cloud spoon. So he's having a good day. He's yeah, having a good beast. day. It is $20. And then Winnie the Pooh stuck in a tree trunk eating his honey. How cute. And then there he is stuck in a tree. And it is, let's see, $20. A new sweatshirt for kids, 100 Acre Honey Club. Love this sweatshirt. Embroidered, we have Tigger, Winnie with pots of honey. We all look at Piggly holding his flowers. He loves flowers, he loves flowers. And then we have Eeyore. Eeyore looking a little confused. <laughs> so cute. Okay, it is $35 and nothing on the backside. Mr. ML here discovered two things, two things. So another compartment. There's another zipper compartment. And also here. You can what? Oh, 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 that's so cute. I didn't know, I didn't see that. Look at Mr. ML and his details. Oh, it's like a little, what do you call this? A little Velcro? Velcro. 
Okay, he holds his honey pot, and then here you can add more storage. So there's more storage to this. Look, this is how deep my hand goes. Okay, this is a much bigger pocket, yes. If you're not into backpacks, you can get the plush crossbodies they still have for $35. There's Winnie and then Tigger and Eeyore. How adorable does Eeyore look? They've got choices. They've got choices because you can get these or you can get the lug bags. Very nice. By the way, they have a press pennies machine. Let's see what they got. Look how cute. Okay, so. We got rabbit and owl right there. We have Eeyore with little blocks, Tigger and Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin and a drum. We got Piglet, Pooh and Eeyore, Piglet and Pooh with butterflies. We got Bouncy Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. The price of these, $1 each or eight for $5. Not a bad deal. This would be the final result once your penny is pressed. The many adventures of Winnie the Pooh is 10 minutes. Let's ride it. I love that you can read the story here at the queue. Who thought the bees would be fooled by a poo shaped cloud and a blue balloon? Okay, I think it's time. It's time to ride the little honey pot. Let's go. Here starts the story. It's a very blustery day. A very windy day at the 100 Acre Goods. Why did I say 100 Acre Goods? I meant 100 Acre Woods. Oh no! What happened? We're bouncing with Tigger. Bouncing. This is when Tigger meets Pooh. When Pooh meets Tigger. And then here comes Pooh's nightmare. Heffalumps and Woozles. Their nightmare. The 100 Acre Good Friends nightmare. Mr. ML's happy that his shirt is glowing. <laughs> There's Winnie stuck in a tree. Oh my goodness. And here's their party. How cute. The pink cake with the chocolate icing. Love this. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is such a family-friendly ride. Kids of all ages, from one to 110, enjoy. 150 can enjoy this ride. It is so much fun. It was so much fun. I like it. I know you I know you had fun, Mr. Emo. We're in Frontierland and it seems like Big Al. And oh my gosh, what is his name? They're pin trading. They're pin trading right now. My goodness! How cute! <laughs> Like I said, we're at Frontierland. One of our favorite rides is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Mr. Emil and I love riding this ride, especially during fireworks. It's a little wait time during fireworks. It will be closing for refurbishment January 6, 2025, and probably reopen spring 2026. Not sure just yet. So a whole year, Mr. Emil, how are we going to survive a whole year? without the wildest ride in the wilderness. Came to Adventureland and we're gonna meet Captain Jack Sparrow. So we thought there was a line, but no, he oh. roams around. So you have to catch him, sort of thing. You have to go find him. And uh, he just randomly walks around and then just, you know, does his Jack Captain Jack Sparrow Captain Jack kind of things, stuff, Captain Jack stuff. Um, so yeah, that was that was funny. He just like turned around randomly, just started yeah, walking, start walking away. Yeah, so yeah, we followed him for a bit, but uh, we were not successful. Maybe next time. Next time. <laughs> 
exiting Adventureland right by the Crystal Palace. There's a little bridge that crosses over to the Crystal Palace, which is the Winnie the Pooh and Friends buffet. Okay, they still have the 50th anniversary statues, but no longer the 50th medallion, but you can still enjoy them and use your magic band, you know, to kind of wave at them and they say something. Somebody waved at him and he said, Happy Halloween. That's what he Happy said. Halloween. Yeah, in his Winnie the Pooh voice and he's hugging Piglet and I think this is a beautiful beautiful spot to take a picture I'll put the picture that I just took with Winnie and Piglet you can watch our previous video where we go to our local mall which is a mall close to the Orlando theme parks and we discover Disney finds and other fandom right up here or the one prior to that where we go to Disney Springs for the latest Disney merch right down here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye!